tell you the story about the bag? What bag? The hitchhiker in the bag. No, I don't think you did. All right, well, I'm riding along with my friend Nick. We're in this very same car, actually. We're going down to Seattle to catch a show, and we see this guy hitchhiking. Now, I start to slow down. Nick starts freaking out. Dude, what are you doing? What? We're going to pick this guy up. I, I don't know about you. I don't mind picking up a hitchhiker from time to time. I don't do it much, but I've done it. Yeah, it's not a big deal. But, uh, Nick, you know, he's an all right guy, but he's pretty uptight about this kind of thing. It depends on the situation. Was this guy sketchy or... Well, see, that's the thing. I'm telling Nick to calm down that it's not that big a deal. Calm down. It's not that big a deal. But as we start to get close and I get a good look at this guy, I'm starting to have second thoughts. Look at this guy. Just pull out. And I mean, you know, I can't just peel out and ditch the guy. No, once you, once you stop. You stopped. That's what I'm saying. So what was Nick saying? Nick's all freaking out about this faded black duffel bag that guy's carrying. But we don't even know what's in the bag. He could have drugs. He could have a gun. He could have somebody's head in that bag. Knock it off. Him. Here he comes, all right? Hey there. You heading to Seattle? He didn't say anything. Not a thing. Nick was not happy. Well, can't blame him. No, neither can I, but he could have handled things differently. Well, how do you mean? All right, I'm trying to make idle conversation. So what are you doing in Seattle? But the guy won't say anything. So, uh, what do you got in the bag, anyway? He asked him what was in the bag. I know. Give me a break. What's he trying to do? I mean, it's not the best situation. Do you have to aggravate things? It's not a smart move. It gets worse. Well, I think that's fair. You know, you're in our car. And we're giving you a ride. I think we have a right to know what's in the bag. I don't know what to say. It's bullshit. I don't want to make things worse. Seriously, man, what's in the bag? None of your goddamn business. Well, maybe we should pull over right now and just let you out. If you're not going to tell us, what do you got in the bag? So, so did you let him out? Yeah, after three miles of the guy screaming at the back of my neck. After another minute of Nick bugging him, he just loses it. Now, I think he's, a knife is going to come around and stab me in the neck. It's everything I can do to keep my head back against a headrest instead of crouch over the steering wheel. <laughs> Finally, we just stop. We're in the middle of nowhere. The guy screams at us for another minute. I'm all freaked out. He finally gets out of the car. No shit. What, what was he screaming about? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Some goddamn this effing bastard. Some CIA Vietnam. Uh, crazy, man. I'll tell you what the funny thing was, though. What? About an hour down the road. Stop at a gas station. The guy had left his bag in the car. No shit. I kid you not. So, what was in the bag? Well, that's none of your goddamn business. Are you Mary Poppins, mother? Yeah, you guys right. broken down? Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> oh, I bet. You want me to turn it off? Uh, yeah, if you can. <laughs>